Hello everyone and welcome back to IAS Tech. In today's tutorial, we will be diving into Angular and exploring how to dynamically change the color of button based on user interaction or data. Whether you are a new Angular or looking to expand your skills, this guide will provide a step-by-step -step approach to customizing button colors on the fly. So let's get started. First of all, make sure you have Angular CLI installed on your system. If not, head over to the official Angular website for installation instructions or you can watch one of my YouTube videos I have recorded already on that. Once that's set, open your terminal and create a new Angular project. In order to create a new Angular project, you will run this command ng new and the project name. Once your project has been created, navigate to your project directory by using this command cd project name i already have created my project and it is currently open in my vs code and running in the browser so i will be using that one after project has been installed and open in your vs code you have to start that project by using the command ng serve minus o i already have it open so i will not run it now let's add a button to our application for that open the app.component.ts file and add the button click me so save the file you will see the button appear on your web page as expected to change the button color we will use angular's built-in ng style directive this allows us to bind inline styles to the button element back in app.component.html modify the button tag to include the ng style directive and here i will add my object and i will give it the style that i would like to add background color and you can first of all you can set a hard coded color in this way for example just add red and you will see that the color has been updated for it but we would like to uh, get the color dynamically so i will use the variable name here instead in the app.component.ts file let's define the button color variable save it now you can see that the color has been applied to the browser our button should have the blue color like this to dynamically change the color we will add a function to update the button color so in the app.component.ts uh, component file add the add this method that i'm going to add change color that is going to expect a color code from the parameters this dot button color is equal to new color so new color will be coming from the parameter and we will set that value to the button color now in our app.component.html let's add an event binding to our button to call this function on a click event so first of all save it go to the html and add the click event make sure to pass the color code so in this time i will pass red okay now every time you click the button it should turn to the red like this what if you want to let the user choose the color let's add an input field above our button so for that go back to the html and add the input here here i will add ng model is equal to user color and placeholder would be enter a color all right this user color property is not defined yet so let's define that property but before that make sure you have imported the forms module in your app.module.ts to use ng model that we just have added here i already have forms module imported so that's why it is working we just have to define the use color property user color property okay so now go back to the html and instead of hard coded uh, instead of using hard coded value i will be using the user color value like this save it click on that and you can see the color is red i will use a different color yellow orange green and so on and that's it you now have a button that changes the color based on a user input experiment with different colors and see how the button responds this is just the beginning of what you can do with angular's building angular's binding features thanks for watching this tutorial if you found it helpful don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more coding tutorials happy coding